I'm hey Tenchi. All right, so we're gonna finish up Puzzle Agent Two tonight. Indeed. So all you missed was uh, the body of an astronaut. Was he floating in space? No, we found him in the forest. What? Yep. Cosmonaut? Nope. Just an astronaut. And a chick that really likes puzzles. Who is really, 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 really into Bigfoot. Yeah, Moko mentioned that to me. I'm pretty sure there's a portal like that. Yeah, I wish you had seen that part. It was funny. <laughs> Do we have to go back there? Okay, no, we finished that. So now we're, where are we supposed to go next, Moko? Where did they mention going next? I think we're going back to Korka's house. Oh no, let's actually show you Korka. More gum. Will he actually go? Oh, he won't go near there. He won't go nope. near her house. Will he go near the mailbox? No. He doesn't want to go near her crazy ass. Probably a good idea. Hmm. I guess we go back here. You creepy bitch. Okay. I can't remember where we're supposed to go. Uh, do we have a quest Usually log? on the map it starts like blinking to the next area. Next you're time I see that cross country skier, oh, okay. I need to remember to ask him if he's seen anything. It's possible he's not a local, which means he might actually be helpful. Cross country skier, okay. That him? In the intro. No, oh, he's the one I think we see him in the mornings. The guy that we so always I mean, wave yeah, to. Yeah, so mm. I'm in the intro as well. I'm just getting across. If Isaac Davner was using an assumed name, that explains why these files have so little information about his life before Scoggins. But it doesn't explain what Ed Davis has to do with the hidden people. All right, Ed Davis is who he really is, and he was a fighter pilot that crashed there. Oh. The journal actually so that's talks That's why he about was in an astronaut suit? We don't know if it was him. Alfred at the compound is the only sane person I've met in Scoggins. Maybe he can explain Olav's research. Campground. Okay, Here's yeah, let's there. Ah! I'm an idiot. But we all know it. Oh, hey, we got an impressive investigator, though. Nice. Alright, so we said he's at the campground. I will say this game so far, the puzzles... They definitely dumbed down a lot of the puzzles and stuff. It's a lot of the same ones, unlike the other one. It's a lot more creative. Next time... I guess they were afraid that because people complained the last one was too hard. Uh, campground. There we go. The Wallows. Dr. Verstecht? Alfred, how can I help you, Agent Tethers? Have you ever met a local scientist named Olaf Velhaven? Once, many years ago. Strange man. Completely obsessed with some mathematical formula to cure psychological disorders. I think he may have found that formula. Did he? No, yeah, good for him. You've been in these woods for a while. Have you ever seen any astronauts? Hmm, no, but I have seen the occasional scuba diver stuck in the treetops. Really? Of course not. That's an urban legend. What? What would you say if someone believed he'd actually seen the hidden people? I'd say that believing in the hidden people is absolutely crazy. But then, everything we believe in is crazy. From mathematics to democracy. 
So the hidden people oh. don't exist. He's not wrong. I never said that. Oh, the hidden people most crazy. definitely exist. There have been appearances uh, for uh, yeah, years because, all yeah, around town. It's almost as if, exist, yeah, almost as if they're trying though. to get somewhere, but they're being blocked. I've been able I to pinpoint that up scattered religion. locations of sightings, but no. I can't find a pattern to them. Here, take a look. Arrange the photos and... Yep, this will be easy. Yeah, boy. Okay. What it did... What the fuck? Okay, so... Oh, it's the phases of the moon. Sort of, I think? Yeah, because that, that all of he was like, trying to uh, explain how the, 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 the people being insane is affected by the lunar calendar. Okay, so one is where I uh, it's either. Hmm. I think I got it. Probably. All right, so what one is where it should be? Two is where it should be. Three, four, five. Yeah, I think that I think that's correct. <laughs> Yep. Impressive. But I still don't see... Wait a second. This is a list of the dates of penumbral eclipses. Each one corresponds exactly to the emergences of the hidden people. Amazing. Give me a moment. They were just random appearances before, but now that I have a sequence, I can triangulate the exact position of the hidden people's home. So that means we go light it on fire? We oh, have to go, right away. Why is this cut keep doing this thing with like, like something? Um, now? now? Right now, while the moon lights our way. Off we go. Is it showing okay for you two? It I... is now. It, it does this thing sometimes because like, I'm responding to some messages from, uh, oh. from people. It must and be nearby each other. We have to stop watching and then we watch just again. have to follow the map. It, it, it Do you hear that? Goes, kind of hear what? My Alfred? Yeah, yeah. Where did he go? I'm in full screen now, so we'll just have to respond to the messages later. Hold on, I'll, I'll make it a lower, <laughs> see if it helps if I lower it a little. Please. No, no, it, it, it's fine now. It's just like I have to... I not, have noticed since the last it. update, it doesn't always put the pop-up the side of the screen like it used to when you're mm -hmm. watching and typing. Yeah, exactly. Gotta love Discord. Instead of fixing something just like everything else, they just break it more. Slide the logs and arrange them to create a path for Nelson to find Alfred. Yeah, that, that's the, they that's the thing. They keep doing we also... this. Like they keep doing the same puzzles over and over again. It's kind of getting annoying. But that's also something we discovered in the last stream. I guess that Nelson is apparently some sort of omnipotent god that can just like move a forest at will. Because he did, he did that when he was he was chasing some guy. He literally just made the forest move into a path that was clear for him. And then you move to that one, and then up. Yeah. I have noticed since we restarted, it seems to be working better. Oh, so these are some huge ass logs, man. There you go. Oh no, you had it. Yeah, yeah. That's you had it also before, so yeah. I think those trees on the side were actually a hint to like, oh, you have to put two on the top, three in the middle, and then two on the bottom. But, I really do think that one level is done, but was done by a different, like, a different part of the team. That really terrible level. Yeah, there's one in all of shit. Yeah, like nothing was responding right. Again, that's because they they're using a sixteen. 18, 18 grid, space grid, but it was moving like only on 8 grids for some reason. Oh, Hermes too. Is he? Oh, he's cooking a squirrel. Yeah, squirrel on a stick. That's nasty. He didn't even skin it. He eat all the fur. That's gonna burn off in the fire, kind of like how when you have corn on the cob, you just like throw it on the grill and like all those small hairs, hairs will like just burn off. This is true. Still gonna taste <laughs> kind of funky though, I don't know. It's one of those moments where it's like, do I want to record this? Jeebus! 
Huh? Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, oh. I'm actually these those scenes where people do that. I'm actually amazed they're able to do it so efficiently without like breaking the fucking. Uh, syringe yeah, that's fair. Yeah, no, that's. I mean, it's definitely a movie-esque type thing. Usually, you'd probably have to have at least two people holding somebody Hello? down to do that. But yeah. Nelson, I yeah, thought you'd never like pick up. They do it in, in Like I'm amazed they didn't somehow like the break the syringe while they were doing the false injection. Like, Jim, like, Jim like, have, listen. Like, a piece of Whatever you do, don't stream. log the tape I, I sent it, you. Uh, because I'm Something mixing that up with the scene is going on in Scoggins. Jeez, I mentioned the Hermes 2 and astronauts. Yeah, but if the director it, hears about any of this, yeah, like, it'll yeah, cause when, when chaos somebody, in all the you know, divisions. With the, with the you can't let him know what's on that tape. Mm -hmm. He already logged it, didn't he? Jim? <laughs> yeah, uh, I gotta go. Why does he have a giant... Oh yeah, he was the vegetable guy. He already guy. logged it. Yeah. He's an idiot. So was all of that a dream, or...? So long, Mrs. Garrett. You will stay like safe out there. Also, we found out the hot dish contains moose meat and cilantro, but days you couldn't get any of it, apparently. So why is it why is it that you click on the front door but then he goes out the back? I don't get that. They didn't want to do another animation. That's a black off helicopter. That's CIA bullshit. Oh boy, FBI's here. Director Jennings? He's part of the Good work, Tubbs. Seems like you found something pretty important to these boys. But uh, I... They'll take it from here. But... Enjoy yourself, Tethers. You're on vacation for Pete's sake. Go skiing. Shoot a bear. As for me, <laughs> I'm headed to that moose diner. I hear they blend up one damn fine milkshake. Why don't you come along? <laughs> That's a Twin Peaks reference. If nothing else, maybe I you can convince like, Director vacation, Jennings to listen to me at the bear. diner. I've got to get to the bottom of all this Stop before these agents cover everything up. I'd better check around town to see who, if anybody, is still on my side. Also, I don't know when the trope started that, like, the commissioner has to have a big-ass mustache, but it's... It, That's it's been a thing since the trope. 70s. Yeah, so I don't know when that started. Probably started with Magnum P.I., but yeah, that was really good. Uh, Dino. I like that show. The old one, not the new one. He's still working on that fucking sign. He will never. We can be using a wrench as a hammer. I mean, it'll work eventually. Oh, you know what was actually funny? I found out who, because that's um, McScruffy or whatever the hell his name is. That voice actor does a lot of video games, I including another one you've been playing recently. The crack. One with the cat. Huh? Crack. No, not crack. With the cat? No, not good. the one with the cat. The Guardians game. Oh, sweet. Which one was he, he, vo he He voices Groot. Easiest so job they, ever. I was about to say, so instead of getting Vin Diesel, they, they got a much cheaper Yeah, and they didn't get Vin anybody Diesel. for it. I do remember, I think it was the guy that played, um... That played... One of them got a bitch fit that he wasn't the voice in the game. But it was a while ago. Between the five generations, power all devices using every available power outlet. Generators will eventually spit power if used twice. Each device must be powered exactly to their power needs. So generators will split power twice. Yeah, so there's probably a generator that has double the amount that you have to put. Yeah, so, so the 51 goes right. into something. So yeah, you have to... The one in the middle has to go to two, two appliances. Oh. So they split power twice. They, they split power if they're connected twice. So, like that, that ten would only that, that one it would only that, that ten one would only give it, give it five if it's connected to that line twice. Oh, then it's you, doing that oh, thing. There we go. Wait, what? Oh, you can plug them into how many, however many you want. That's neat. Yeah, but the thing is, if they're connected to two or more, they will split the power. Right. Hmm. So, so that that, uh, that ten to the left, if you plug that into the lamp, it'll only give it five power. Hmm. All right, so let's do this. So, let's... okay, I think I understand how this works. All right, so the fifty has to be plugged into the forty and the thirty below it. So one side there, one side there. So that means you're getting twenty-five. Uh, total to each of those. Next, you're going to go over to the 30. The 30 is going to be split between the 40 and the 15. 
So that means you're getting 15 to the 15, and you're getting 15 to the 40, which is also currently also getting 25, which means that's going to hit 40. Then, let's see here. So that one's getting 25, so that one only needs 5. So what you're going to do is you're going to split... Um, you're going to split... Uh, oh, the 10. Kill a fucking mosquito. Um... Yeah, so, uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you're going to put one is going to go there, and the other node on the 10 is going to go to the 45. So that's going to cut that down to 40. Then... Okay, yeah. Oh, no. Hang on, sorry. Yeah, okay, yeah, no, no, no. So the other 10 and the 30 are both going to go to that 45 in the corner. Yeah, because you have, you have to connect all of them together. They yep. all have to be connected the, but, but I think, uh, do both of the nodes have to be connected to one for it to I, work? I, I believe do it does. So each device must be powered exactly to the power use, and it will limit the power use twice. Every available power outlet, yeah. If you use, okay, so I don't know if you have to connect the alternate nodes. But I think uh, you, that you, ha you have to use every available power power outlet. All right, so the the other thirty connect to the forty five, and the other ten connect to the, also connect to the forty five. No, no, no! You come over here. You finicky little bastard, come here. Okay. It's connected to the forty right now. Got that? Come on, you're coming over here, whether you like it or not. Yep. Okay, I think that should work. I feel like this is an electrical fire waiting to happen. Oh, 100 percent. Bingo. Mm -hmm. Roger. That Trees. Mm -hmm. Strange odors. Nope. I'll just leave you guys to it then. He made a friend. Roger. Stranger. If you can think of anything else, it's important you tell me. I'm sorry, Agent Tethers. I've told you everything I know. That guy's not having a good time. He's still freaking out. Totally freaking out, man. Okay, I'm um, squash my good hopes luck, and Steve. dreams. Yeah. Birds always hold as much as they can carry. Back home. Get back home. Director Jennings. Ah, good to see you, Tethers. Can't stay away from these milkshakes, I see. They are sublime. Dude, you've got to listen. There are terrible things Man, happening in Scotland. Performing at the Eraser frozen. Factory, Isaac <laughs> Dabner. How, how well, actually, his really real name is like Ed Davis. Racing. He was abducted from the factory, dragged away by tiny forest gnomes. And, and looking for him, I found the body of an astronaut in the forest. The Brotherhood, that's the local gnome cult, led me to a cabin with a reclusive scientist louder. studying eclipses and lunacy. Then, last night, I found a camp around a crashed lunar lander. And the remains of a missing cross-country skier. There's only one conclusion. The astronauts in the forest are murdering people. And he just yelled that to everybody else in the world. That, 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 was, that was quite the sentence. Tethers, you're embarrassing yourself. I mean, you're the one that was just sipping the milkshake. Look, like there was no believe tomorrow. me. I know how crazy it sounds. I don't think you do, Tethers. But I saw them. Astronauts. There's a camp in the woods. Camping. Maybe that's what you need. Spend some time getting back to nature. It'll clear your head. But they're killing people. Maybe you don't believe me about the astronauts. What tipped you off, Tethers? But there are at least six missing persons cases in Scoggins, possibly more. I already spoke to Sheriff Bog. Good man. Got the situation under control. Sir, you're an ass. 
Where are all these agents from? Secret Service? CIA? NSA? NASA? To stay out of their way and let them do their jobs. It's classified, Tethers. I don't know what Jim told you. Ingram, it's not what he told us. It's what he told you. What, what did he tell us? I hope Jim's not in any trouble. He was just helping me out with my case. You're not on a case, Tethers. Vacation, remember? Yes, sir, but the eraser factory foreman, Isaac Davner. Could turn into a permanent vacation. Yes, sir. Director Jennings, since you've been here, have you seen any hidden people? Hidden people? Is that what the locals call the undesirables? <laughs> Not exactly. They're gnomes. Uh, forest gnomes. So, Just no, the then? <laughs> it is. All right, Director Jennings. I won't come back until I have proof of what I've seen. Feathers, you're a good puzzle agent, I'm assuming. I'd hate to see you throw that away. Noted, sir. Wow. It's a little insulting. Agent Tethers. Glory? I heard what you said about astronauts. I know it sounds hard to believe, but I know what I saw. Isaac used to say he had dreams about astronauts. What's your reference to Isaac Asimov? They were trying Probably. to tell him something. I thought you'd want to know. Never mind. I've got this, to find it. This the body of the astronaut. Is also an astronaut and his name is, is fucking, is also just called Neil. Uh, Help so he, Nelson but he's like, an alien, he's like an alien in a space suit. Help Nelson retrace his steps to find the body of an astronaut in the forest. Rotate the tiles to create the path from Nelson to the astronaut. So, oh, this Nelson is starts... Go yeah, no, no, you have to use the whole thing. It's gonna make you. You mother. There we go. There you go. There you go. Good old fashioned Yeah, I feel like they did make this one easier. This game. Yeah, I guess they covered the quote unquote backlash from people getting stuck, hard stuck on the old, on the old games where they just. Hey, buddy. Maybe you go buy How's the camera. It it's empty. It's an empty suit. It's been empty the whole time. <sighs> oh shit! Fuck! It doesn't it's fit me guy. anymore. Isaac? I, I mean, Ed Davis? No, it's Isaac Davner now. Those astronauts the at the camp, the are, are you from the last working with them? Not anymore. When the mission went bust, I tried to run away. But I had to run into the Moose Ear Diner. And fall in love with the waitress. I've been trying to make a new life ever since. I think that's Bigsby. What? Oh, did you just hear him? Yeah. Are yeah, you know? sorry about that. No, no, not the cat. I mean, I think this voice actor is the same as Bigsby's. 
Yeah. Um, the there is the same voice actor as in the first game. I know that. Hermes too. No, no, I haven't seen it in, it in any of the official one, records. It was a secret mission based on confidential research from some crazy scientist. They sent us to the moon with a device, a lunar ray. We were ordered to put it on the surface, but something went lunar wrong. Ray. What about lunar Steve? A lunar eclipse? Well, isn't lunar I guess so. something from James the boys Bond on the surface solar didn't ray. have a chance. Oh, Moonraker! Is that what you're as talking they about? got back to the yeah, module, the they went space? completely insane. No, isn't that a had to lock them in the airlock and scuttle Oh, yeah, 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 they do the satellite refracting in bullshit, Scotland. yeah. Yeah, well, it's I like, it, that the so was in weapon. Soviet Russia and shit. Because it was, it was, like, from 85, so... Yeah, I and, and they, almost guarantee they just that's had like a, I saw you yeah, taken had, away like by the hidden people. Like, yeah, Didn't basically I? Basically worked as a giant magnifying glass. to the lander. Why did they take you there? Oh man, James Bond used to they be so fucking stupid whisper, with the plot. Somehow even more stupid than, you know, Austin Powers, which was a parody of it. I'm not sure why, but I think they were taking yeah. me to the Lunar Ray. Even, like, James they Bond license to kill to is so fucking it. violent that, like, there's a murder in the, like, there's a murder in the first five minutes where somebody gets you, by Isaac. shock. You will, but aren't you with the FBI? That Lunar Ray is way too powerful to return to the government. And besides, I'm on vacation. I don't think that I don't think you said say that even more often. The I'm government thinking. guys have already found the lander. We'll have to get rid of that guard. Does your gun have a silencer? We don't I mean, have to okay, hurt that, anyone. I'm oh jeez, he Maybe goes right if I make shooting. a noise, I can distract him. Yeah, this, yeah can, can you go to that guy first? Yeah. Lunar yeah, Ray alters the trajectory of the rock regardless of how it's thrown. Place the trees in in a way where the rock bounces off them and hits the Secret Service agent. Oh, fuck. When thrown, the Lunar Oops. Array will force the rock in the following pattern. So it'll go, it'll go upwards, then left, then downwards, and then right. No, other way. Up, up, left, down, right. No, somebody said it's up, right, down, left. No, south, east, west. Unless I'm getting east and west confused. You course, are. That might also be. Yeah, okay. Go hit back. Hit back. And then get sent down. To the right. Yeah, but it's not going to go directly. It's going to go in a straight line. Is it, you think? I guess. Yeah, it'll, it'll go straight and then to to the east and then bounce down south and then bounce north. Can I put one there? No. But the thing is, we we don't know which, where where it starts from, does it? Like, does it go? It looks like it goes oh. from here. So from here it'll go straight up. Okay, and then down, and then up, up, and then bounce there. And I have to make sure I it have no idea if I'm doing this right. I'm just guessing it. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't have to fall out of the. Can yeah, you show me the rules again, please? The the rock fly out the forest when thrown. The lunar array will force the rock in the following patterns: north, east, south, west. The way the ray will keep repeating this pattern. So. North, south, east, west. They're north, east, south, west, so... Okay, so it'll start going north, and then it'll hit a tree and then go east. And then it'll hit a tree and go south, and then it'll hit a tree and go west, and it will repeat that. Okay, so it's, it's going to start with, by going upwards. Yeah. So it'll go north, then it'll go east, which is to the left, then it will go south, then it will go west, then it will go north again, we'll go east. Okay, so... The first one, I think, has to be two blocks above where it is. And that should and shoot it to, to the left, or to the right, I mean. That'll shoot, yeah, that'll shoot it to the right. And, and then, then hit that, that cluster of trees, and then we have to put another cluster. And then it'll go south, and then it'll go west, and then it'll repeat. 
So I think we also have to use the existing trees that are here to do yeah, so, some of this. So it'll go up and then hit the other cluster of trees in the in the fifth block, and then it'll go down. So you got to put one right right in front of the eight, not in front of the eight, but the same the same yeah yeah right there, and that's gonna hit that tree. That's next to it, and then we have to get it. Then it's gonna bounce upwards again, so not to, so we don't get stuck in a loop. We have to somehow get it to hit so hit the other two one, trees yeah. and bounce down, and then then to the to the to the right again to hit and go bounce down into him. If we put one here. Wouldn't that break the loop? Yeah, I think that will, but I don't know in which. Direction. Then I think you have to put one adjacent to that on the other side, so it otherwise it's gonna fly out the forest. Here. Well, the other thing is we're gonna have to try because basically what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to work your way around to do east again. So you're gonna need six points because you need to go east in order to get to the agent. So you're gonna go north, then you're gonna go east, then you're gonna go south. So, it's just where do you put that eastern block of trees? That's the big question. Because it needs to be able to refract so that it goes south, but then also hit something else. So, so that means it's going to go west, then it's going to go, after it goes west, it's going to go north, it's going to hit that immediately, and then it's going to go east. So, I think what you need to do is the bottom one, move it down one can yep okay so then that's gonna go that's gonna hit the southern part it's gonna go west then it's gonna hit that it's gonna go north and then okay yeah i understand it now all right so the one that's right below the rock move that one down and to the right to Here? the right yep yep right there and then the next one the last one you're gonna put that green group of trees at the top not right below it uh diagonal to the right down one. There. Right there. All right. Yep. Run it like that. Okay. <laughs> you might need a bigger rock. Now we've got to shut down that ray. The only safe place for that ray is at the bottom of Lake Spin. Keep an eye on the site while I check it out. Agent Tethers, if the government gets that weapon, they'll be able to turn anyone into feral screaming lunatics, just like my crewmates. Uh, what's it gonna do to us for being close to it? Well, as we we found out last time, we are definitely on some sort of like a, we are already fucking crazy. So melt our balls. I don't know. Maybe maybe it'll even out and we start getting sane again. That's it. That's their home. But the ray, it's repelling them, keeping them from returning home. I've got to disable it. Unlock the module. Using the control module will make a program to move all three electrons into all three receptors. Ah, it's oh. one of these again. And now so from we, we can't learn go to the burned out spots. We have to be careful of those, I think. Yeah, but, but from we learned from last time, it, it goes from the top from the top and then reads the command codes that way. Does it go so from up here failed. or down here? No, on, on top and then goes down. That's what, what I failed with, with the last puzzle, last game, was that I thought, thought it did, um, that each of the rows would correspond to one of them, but it moves all of the electrons at the same time. Yeah, e e use it as if it was, like, you're, it goes in order as if you were, like, reading a book. Yeah, so it goes from yeah, it goes from top and then goes goes towards mm -hmm. the the right and then goes down and then to the right. So it's gonna go 
up. Move again. No, you can't go up again because then that one fills out. So you have to go up and then to the left. You have to go left, I think. You have to go left twice and then up and then. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's one of those. Hi. Oh, that's a lot of guns. Locked in my own room. The story was that it was for my own safety. I guess I should be thankful they didn't send me to jail. Locked in your own room without hello? any fucking TV? Hello? Nelson, finally! Oh, hello, Jim. Listen, it's about these Scoggins tapes. Enough with the tapes already! Yeah, I'm really, really sorry about that. But you've got to hear this. I think you left your recorder on, or, or something. It's labeled, Sighting Hotel Alley. That's when I saw one of the hidden people whispering to Bo Murphy. There's this weird sound. I can't make it out. Wait, I know that sound. It was playing under Olaf Wellhaven's Reel to Reel. That explains it. Thanks, Jim. Uh, okay, but what does... You get nothing. I figured out how Olaf Velhaven was able to solve the problem of lunacy. It's the hidden people. He was inviting them into his cabin to speak to him. I've got to get back to Olaf's cabin. And that means finding a way out of this room. Why do you I keep using the, the tapes? Time. Rearrange Puzzle. the furniture to create a path for Nelson to exit the room without being seen through the window. Only. The two dressers are tall enough to block the windows. Get Nelson out of here. Okay. All right, so... Only the two dressers. No. Since you won't jump over the bed like a normal human being. Oh, I see the tricks of this. If I had to do the same thing in the sheriff's office. We move the. That makes my life a lot easier. Well, you can move move the bed into him as well. Yeah, I just noticed that. I don't know if that's a glitch or not. I don't think so. It's just a starting point. Yeah, so you need a clear path, so the bed can't technically sit on him. I don't think. Yeah. So the 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 couch is positioned in such a way. Yeah, I think I understand then. how this works. No, no, I actually think that what you're doing before, like dress, dress down, and then, no, no, then you move the dresser into no, the no, spot. No, 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 trust me, I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I think that's it because he's just gonna climb over. I don't think they'll let you climb over it. I think that would be. We can try it. No, because you can still see. That... Yeah, I have to put them, move the bed to that corner somehow. Yeah, and then you move that I, down, and then the dresser over. Yeah, then the dresser over to uh, to to Nilsson, and then the bed up in the corner. No, bed up up to the corner. You need to move the dresser in the left hand corner down. Yeah. I I know exactly what he's doing. No, 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 no. no, no, no. Okay. The the bed the bed needs to be in the upper left hand corner. So move yeah. that. Yep. Okay, move that up and there. Then, no, no. The, the the dresser one one dresser has to block one of the one of those. So move the bed up as it were. Okay, and then take the middle dresser and put that down, and then into that into the window underneath the bed. The, yeah, and then the other dresser underneath the, the bed directly. Oh, yeah. I yep. see. Yep, I have a path. No, no, no he, yep, 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 yep. No, it yeah, works in either way. Yeah. Yep. As long as it works. Yep. It seems like they also gave you more options for solving these this time around instead of just giving you like, okay, you got to do it a very specific way in order to get this to be correct. Yeah. Yeah. Which is good. And 
I'm sure a lot of people got heart stuck because they didn't expect Now, how exactly did Olaf to get the hidden people to talk to him? Well, he sang them a song. The moist, white flesh of the codfish. But enough of that. It is time to call my tiny huh? friends. The man likes his Yes. Food. What luck! Yeah, he's also talking about having a cucumber sandwich. Come, before. speak with me, my friends. Cucumber finger sandwiches are not terrible. I'm not having a full sandwich, so it's kind of nasty. But like, if it's a proper cucumber sandwich, it's not like it's just a, a piece of bread and cucumber. It's uh, basically size up the cucumbers and then mix it in, into, into like, like making some sort of like sauce. Yeah, it's like using a 2001 salad, Space Odyssey. Yeah, and, yeah, and then you then you smear that on a piece of toasted bread, and it's actually really good. It goes well with tea. And yeah, Space Odyssey. That's a nice one. <laughs> Ground control to Major Tom. Unfortunately, he's not here. So you only have deputy manager, deputy manager, or Steve. Fucking space knobs. Two Urs are receiving light from three suns. A sun is connected to one planet, gives full power to one Earth. If connected to two Earths, the sun shares power evenly. How powerful is the third sun? Okay, so... Um, the third... So they each split it evenly. And... So one is getting 30 and one is getting 40. So there's two nodes that are hooked up to the first sun. So each one of them is getting uh, 15. 15 from each of those. And then there's three that appear to be hooked up to the second Earth. And it's 40. It's not 45. Hmm. So I'm thinking one sun contains um, approximately 30 power. I think it's 20. Because uh, I think, well, because I think what happens is because uh, it splits in half for each one that's connected to the, so it, it's an even split. But that one's not split. Hmm, I wish they could still ha show you the question. Oh, hold on. I think it's pressed a what, yeah. Oh. Moving light from three suns, a sun is connected to one, a sun is connected to one planet, gives full power to one Earth. If connected to two Earths, that sun shares power evenly. How powerful is the third sun? If connected to two Earths, that sun shares power evenly. Okay. So let's go back to the diagram. So the third sun is only connected to one Earth. So it's only it's sending all of its power to one. Whereas the other two suns are splitting theirs. So and the first one appears to have 30 power, the second one has 40. So, it says it splits it evenly if it's spread throughout two, but it's everything if it's in one. So, if it, that's the case, that means each one of those other two suns is worth 30, and it's splitting them evenly between that. So, that means that each one of those other two suns is putting 30 into both of those. So, the last sun should be 10. Chat agrees with you. Fuck your math. Yeah, basically. I shouldn't say that. I like doing math. That's why I need you to do it. What? You, you have a black eye. No, never mind. That's just the way they look. Raccoons like to take a dip in the lake of Scoggins in groups. It's so cold they hop out immediately and won't return for a while. Arrange the photos in chronological order. Okay, so... First one... So two is one. Yeah. No. No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, three is the first one, I think. And then there's two raccoons looking, and then the, the f and then the, that, and then the fourth. I three think I have it in the right order. 
Yeah, I think so too. Uh, one I think is when they're starting to leave. Right. No, because of what it, that, that, there's only one. Well, I'm, I'm looking at the faces of the raccoons because I think that's how they want you to organize this. Because each one of them has a distinct looking face. If you look at the raccoon in the lower right hand corner of one, he's the same one that's in the water. His face is just reversed in four on the right. Oh, yeah. Okay, so there's one is four. So they nice. they jump. All of them jump in. Because that's what it says. It says they all jumped in and then oh, they realized the it was too cold. They won't come back for a while. Yeah, the footprints too. Yeah, so the first one has no footprints leading away. So that one, I believe, is right. Then it goes. Yeah, I think. Yeah, three footprints. I think that's correct. I think that might be correct. Yeah, there's, there's, there's three footprints and then there's a bunch of footprints. Yep. disappearing why is there a coyote? oh so yeah each one of them disappears with the puzzle get the sun's rays to hit the earth using the angle of the satellites don't hit the moon or asteroids bloody okay. hell do i hate this thing all right so we can't hit the moons or asteroids and it looks like they divert all right so it's the same thing as like okay it's it's gonna be diverting so you have two diverts down or, uh, yeah, so you have, so, no, because that, that's going to direct, direct it up. Yep. So that's going to have to be the first one. It's just, and that should be, I think that should be the place where it would be. And the second was going to have to direct it, I would assume, down into the earth. So the rest are going to have to be right. That's going to direct it into an asteroid. Here, do you want to look at that again? No, I understand how to do it. It's just trying to do it with the pieces provided because you can't switch them. This is creepier because the gnome is just staring. <laughs> okay, I think I understand it. All right, so the first one there that you have, put it right, right up against where the light is coming out of the asteroids. There. Yep. Then the next one, you're going to use the same type and you're going to put it down uh, a little higher, so it's in line with those two, the the, the double stack. So there. lift it up one square, one square up. Yep. Then the next, you're going to take the next one, you're going to put it in that little corner where those three asteroids are kind of together. No, down, down and down into the left. I'm trying. It's it's very sensitive. See. Yeah, down into the left. Why won't you go down? Uh. You're also you're also going to the right. Down and to the left. I'm trying. There we go. It's very finicky. Uh, then the next one is going to go right below the asteroid, uh, the moon. So directly above the one you just placed. Directly above the one you just placed. Yep. Um, so that's going to direct it out. No, because that still doesn't. No, that still doesn't work. Son of a bitch. No, because I think then you'd put one all the way to the uh, all the way to the side, and then one right next to the Earth, and then it's gonna bounce about that way. It won't let you go anywhere near the Earth. Holy shit! Okay, so you, you definitely have to have one bounce it up, uh, underneath, like right, right next to those that cluster of three and asteroids. Wait, I'm checking one, something. One, like yeah. One okay. Side, so but... that's the stopping point. It won't let you go anywhere. Yeah. Okay. So. So. Yeah. It's yeah just the really earth finicky. is the the earth is the line. Okay, that makes sense. Um. Going based on that. Down. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Okay. Okay. I I think I understand it now. Um. 
So the first one is not in the right place. The very first one that you put it needs to go next to the moon. Uh, the, the one that's directly across. This one? Uh, yep, right there. So that gets directed down, and then you're going to have to put one below that, uh, like the one you just had. So you can just move... Uh, uh, it has to be in line with it, so one I'm over trying. The there? No, it has to be in line with it, so it has to be down and to the left. Down now, so directly down. Okay. Uh, and then that is okay. And then the next one is going to have to be the one you have in the box on the side. Bring that one down and put it uh, up one. So it's in between those two. Up one. Yep. And then put the last one there at the very bottom. One to the left. I'm trying. Yep, that, yep, that works. Seems like their space puzzles are very There we go. You get an achievement for that. We've been doing them all without failing. We, we failed a couple. No, but I mean like in a row or whatever. Yeah, I think uh -huh. so. It literally oh, is. You're not allowed to. I am your god now. Oh shit. Save me, Jeebus! I think we just have one more. Yeah, it's the Arrange last Arrange the cosmos list. to reveal and complete all the stars. Rotate the tiles to return the cosmos in order. What's this? Ah, uh, it's just... Oh, I thought it was a sliding cross. Yeah, oh, there's just a... Uh... Yeah, that... Yeah. Kind of just like a, you know, match up the background color. Yeah, that's really. I mean, you, the, the stars all fit together in the same thing too. Yeah, and the other balls. Still have one that's yeah. There you go. Yep. Uh, yep. That's I a think pretty that's picture. Good. Check each square and make sure the pieces fit together perfectly. What? Right. Which one did we fuck up? Oh. oh That's so God, minute. Yeah. It is, but it does have to be exact. $200,000 of taxpayer money. Just to do a puzzle. Yeah, before you left, we had, we had spent like a, what, we had one and a half million dollars already. And we're probably closer to two million. I mean, to be fair, the U.S. government admitted that it basically mishandled about two hundred and fifty billion dollars worth of money in in its budget Not across bad. all its organizations. Can you figure out the lunacy algorithm Olav created? Arrange the mathematical elements in proper order. Hey. Fuck. Well, I mean, first of all, you've got to move one of the uh, the parentheses because they don't do. Yeah, the parentheses has to go um, before the 4D. Okay. Oh, it is. I wasn't. What the? Fuck me. That... You, you moved to. I can't grab the 4D. Hold on. Um. I think the four, does it lock it in place if it's correct? Is that how it works? I don't know. No, I, I'm wondering if it's just, I guess that one you can't touch. 4D Wow, over resetting it just, okay. Yeah, resetting it just brings it back to the, I think the, does it bring it back to the original? But I don't think no. that's pi, Mike, because he because they doing he was doing something with like as ast astrology and shit. So it's four D over Pisces, you know the star sign. I hate you. No, that's literally what they no, they were I talking about before. No, I think that is what he, he actually means. I don't. He's not being funny. Because he was I like, totally a, 
because of cosmetology or whatever the fuck it was, because he's trying to line how the moon and 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 and, uh, and star signs are like what is causing people to go insane. It's because we're all affected by the lunar calendar. Uh, okay. I think that the squiggle there goes in between R two and the division sign. I think. The sum needs to be at the start. The big S thing with the one and zero. Okay. Does that have to be before the four? Because that ain't gonna happen. Oh, this is janked. This one's just a little bit. Yep, this one's janked. Um. Okay. Now, hang on a second. That that part looked correct. The the parentheses section. It's just finding out where the division sign goes. So divide, divide x dx plus minus one two zero pi radius squared plus v over c2 put the division sign uh that one where the, the where the yeah where the, the where the two and one part is with the s symbol no where the s symbol is i i uh yeah because there's two pluses there that doesn't make sense yeah, I... um maybe it goes before yeah. this yeah um that might be correct. I know nothing at what I'm looking at. These are just squiggles to me. Uh, can you click on the what again? Does it give us like any other information? Range map. Uh, no, just the algorithm. Not a bitch. In proper order, I'm trying order. to remember the order of operations. Well, I mean, you always have to have parentheses and parentheses, and you always solve the parentheses first. That is correct. And if you're going by that, that means you're solving R2 plus V over C2, and then you're multiplying that sum by Pisces. And your Pisces over 4D is... I have the answer, but I'll keep quiet. I don't give a shit. We, the, 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 for a time is sake, I... the I, actual I, answer is? All right, I'll submit it. David, it would work, correct? Yes. Yep. Oh. And just to explain it. Two plus signs can't go together, so we know the square root piece won't be inside the parentheses, nor can it be at the end of the formula. The S piece is the symbol for integral, meaning what comes after it is a function and can't be at the end. No wonder it took Olav over 20 years to solve lunacy. I'm going to pretend I understood most of that. Wall of whispers, tides of consciousness. Oh my. It was like, should, okay. should we shoot him? Kirchhoff's principle. Rotation affects orientation. What? Eighth okay. dimensional combinatorics. The center cannot hold. What? Multiplicative cyclic group G of order Q. Are we, are we just playing Star Trek Next Generation? No, you're thinking of Voyager. They both do techno babble. Kirchhoff's principle. Rotation affects orientation. Eighth dimensional combinatorics. The center cannot hold. Is this Terry Davis? There's gonna be a few people in chat that get that one. The moon's gone black. Must hurry. Unlock the module. Using the control module, make a program to move all three electrons into all three receptors. All right, so this is the same thing as it had before. Each command will move electrons at once. An electron won't move if the circuit chip is in the way, but keep its energy. An electron entering a burnt out area will die. Okay. Electrons and receptors will stop moving. Okay. Okay. It's the, it's the same. We got more the before, other. we got more this time than we did before. We didn't get those rules before. Okay, I think I understand immediately how this works. Um, so it's going to be up is the first one. Then you're going to go to the left one. Uh, then you're going to go up 
one, up three, three times. Then you're gonna go to the left again. And then you're gonna go up one more time. So what that's gonna do is up, 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 it's gonna stay there, then left, then up. So you're gonna go up, up. So then the next two the next two are gonna be up, up. Oh, okay, I thought you were still kind of talking to yourself. Uh, no. Um, and then it's gonna go right, right, right. Right, right. And then up, and it's done. I'd have to actually draw it on paper to be able to do it. That that did it! What the hell am I looking at? A glowing box that is full of springs and random wires. And apparently radioactivity. Yeah, that, that turns them all luna, luna, loony, lunatic. Oh boy. Oh, moon makes them crazy. Okay, and now they're all spider monkeys. Destroy! Did we, a, did we get a bad ending? No. I thought they don't even react to <laughs> that. They not their job to chase him. I've seen stranger things in my day, Jimmy. Look at the dwarves coming out of the woods. Puzzle for us. Oh, shit. Okay. Nelson needs to take the lunar ray to Lake Sven, but is under the lunar ray's effects. Help Sven help Nelson maintain focus by making the order connections between the floating objects. Draw a pattern between each object in this order. Space equipment moon lunacy algorithm hidden people. So NASA moon numbers hat. NASA moon numbers hat. NASA. Oh. NASA. So NASA's the base equipment. Uh, oh. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Wait, what? be able to destroy it in time oh, are hey, you up, kidding Bigfoot. hi hey bro what's up, what's up dude <laughs> she was right that's a sasquatch so now i must return to my people say thank you at least Understand? I think so. That's the weird part. You know, he's probably like, I, I give up. Welcome back, Thanks Special back. Agent Tethers. Hi, Jim. Anything exciting happen while I was away? Oh, never mind that. I got the latest issue of Puzzle Sensei. Um, think you could give me a hand with this one? Uh, what is the next number to come in the okay. following sequence? Fuck it, I'm out, you're on your own. No, no, it's, 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 okay, so 31 plus 59, that makes 90, and then 90 plus 30, that makes 120. So 30? No, um, because they're, they're adding it, um, 31 and 59 make 90. And then 90 and 30 make 120. Hang on. So 30. the next number would be 59 or, and or 60, most likely. Yep, 
so it's 60. Okay. I mean, it's one number off. That's not bad. Otherwise, we can use some of all those hints we got. <laughs> we have so much bubble gum. We're gonna need the bubble gum. Think about first number. Okay. Want me to put a hint? Yeah, let's just do a hint. Thirty-five hints. Basic addiction. Okay. An addiction. Okay. Um. All right. So. Thirty plus hundred. Oh, I think I get it. So, thirty-one. Plus what equal? So yeah, so thirty-one plus. Hang on. Yeah, so thirty-one plus fifty-nine. That's that's ninety. Thirty. And then ninety plus thirty. But then what? What comes after that? Would that be nine, ninety plus one hundred twenty? Because that's that. two votes in. No, I I think I. Yeah. Okay. So it goes. Because if it's 90 plus 120, that just makes it 210. That might just be it. It might we might just be overthinking it. It might be. It, I think it. I think it is what you said. 30. No. Um. 90 plus 120, so it's 210. Really bad at math. Yes, just send me the answer. What the first number represents? The fuck does that mean? Motherfucker is balancing a Rubik's Oh, on his I get it. I understand. God, that's fucking stupid. It's um, 149. 151. Okay. 151, though. Oh, cause, yo, we will man, look at how to explain it. Don't worry, chat. 120 and then it resets over the 120 plus 31. That's fucking stupid, man. The number corresponds to the days and the month starting from Jan- How the fuck are you supposed to know that? How in the fuck would you get that? Oh, that's fucking reaching. No, that's reaching. You have to get yeah, so more info okay. for that. Yeah, so it was January, we had 31 we days, and then February, we only had 20. Or did we just space out and not see the clue for it? There's no, no clue for it in that. there. People are even in the chat saying the same thing. Yeah, like, all it said was it uses basic addition, and, and then what, what does the first number represent? What the fuck does the number 31 represent? A fucking NASCAR driver? Yeah, if it had any marking for the months, we would have figured Another it out. Another puzzle solved. Don't look so disappointed, Jim. That was a hard one. Yeah, it's it was not a bullshit that. One. I'm just going to miss your help when I'm transferred. Transferred? Yeah, I've been relocated to the Tundra Division, Arctic Circle Outpost. When the Oof. directors found out I'd warned you they were sending agents to Scoggins, they called it a breach of protocol. Oh, Jim, I, I feel terrible. Here, take this. My entire back collection of Puzzle Sensei magazines since issue number one. Wow! But aren't they full of the answers? I use tracing paper. You don't miss a thing, Nelson. Hey, is that a postcard from the Davners? Good to see they're happy anyway. Yeah, happy. What could go wrong in Bermuda? Oh, fuck. <laughs> so that's what the Ow. third game was supposed to be about. Ah. <laughs> All right. Yeah, that last one was bullshit. I'm sorry, that yeah. last puzzle was straight up bullshit. Congratulations on completing it. There are additional, yeah, I ain't gonna do that. I did like this one, but that last puzzle was bullshit. Yeah. I don't want the credits. <laughs> so that was it, guys. Thank you for joining us for the last part of Puzzle 8.